Welcome to the Automation Zone, a video series brought to you by Miracle's RPA Center of Excellence. Hi, and welcome to Automation Zone series. I am Tedeshwi Midyala from Miracle Innovation Lab. Today, I would like to discuss on enabling intelligent document processing with UiPath's document understanding. These are the concepts which I am going to cover in this video. That is, what is DU and its importance and the types of documents that we deal with and the prerequisite packages that are needed, generic flow of document understanding and a brief explanation of document processing workflow followed by live demo. Let us move on to our first slide. In this slide, I'm going to discuss about what is DU and its importance. As we know, document understanding merges RPA and AI to automatically process documents using software robots that can be trained to quickly read, understand, and act on documents. No matter how big or small a company is, they all have to spend a lot of time processing documents. As we can successfully automate such mundane tasks, then we not only save time by eliminating manual entry and accelerating document search, but also reduce error and improve the quality of our extractions. Let us move to the next slide, which deals with the type of documents. So if you are already processing a lot of documents in your company, then you already know that it becomes even more challenging when the documents keep changing in the formats. You also might know that some of the documents are easy to process because of the fixed format. For example, the licenses, passports, and forms, but there could be other documents with varying formats like emails and contracts, which are difficult to extract data from. But between this fixed and varying formats, we have also come across some documents which have fixed as well as varying formats that are nothing but semi-structured documents. For example, the purchase order in invoices, the payroll department has, or also the utility bills. With the UiPath Intelligent OCR, to get a single platform to handle all such documents wherein you can use form-based extractors to handle document with fixed formats and for handling unstructured documents, you can also use machine learning based extractors. Let us move to the next slide to see the prerequisites that we needed. One of the main prerequisites to enable the usage of complete document processing framework is uipath.intelligentocr.activities package, which can be get from managed packages. So now let us see the generic flow of document understanding. So without wasting any time, let's have a look at the document processing workflow. Well, here are the bunch of steps that one needs to follow if he wants to create a workflow in order to process any kind of document. And you can see there are different types of steps. That is, first one is the defined document taxonomy, low taxonomy, digitized document, classified document, extract data, validate extracted data, export extract. Let us see each step in brief in the document processing workflow. As we discussed earlier, the first activity is nothing but the defined document taxonomy. So let me just classify what taxonomy is. Taxonomy is nothing but it's a logical classification of various documents into groups and categories. To classify it even further, what taxonomy means and how to classify your documents into different groups and categories. Let's take an example of a typical manufacturer company. So the company itself would come at the groups level and every company would be divided into different categories like account, engineering, production, and HR. And each of these departments could be considered on different categories. Accounts may handle document types such as invoices and uh, POs and engineering is mostly focused on the engineering drawings and the production or manufacturing mainly handle work instructions and how to manufacture a typical product. And whereas HR would be typically handling on the resumes from different candidates. Now moving to the next step, that is nothing but load taxonomy. Once the taxonomy is defined, we will be moving to the load taxonomy. So there is already a UiPath activity that's called load taxonomy and each of these activities, they come under the intelligent OCR package. Once we are in UiPath Studio, we will also see how the usage of this package. Once the taxonomy ha has been loaded, the next step is to digitize the document. So the most of the documents that we get could be either in a PDF format or it could be an image or any other format. And in order to make it readable by the machine, we need to convert it to enter digital format. And this could be done by using the digitized document activity. As an input to this activity, you're giving it the file path. And as the output, we will be getting a text file. And along with that, you will also get a DOM document. That is nothing but the document object model, which 
specifies the kind of document that you passed and the number of pages the document contains and so on. Uh, let's move to the next step that is nothing but classify document scope. Once the document has been digitized into a readable format, the next step is to classify this document. Since we already saw under the taxonomy definition that they have different kind of documents that we defined and it becomes very easy for the robot to handle. If he already knows that the kind of document that he is looking into, we look closer into this activity in the UiPath Studio. Once the document has been classified, you take out the result to so you take the classification result and depending on the classification result, you use the extraction method in UiPath. This is the main step in the document processing workflow. At present, we have three kinds of extraction methods that is regex based, form based and ML based. When coming to the regex based methods, uses regular expression to extract corresponding attributes on the document. And then we have a form based extract this extraction method, which is used to handle documents with fixed format. So you would have to define a typical template for each of this kind of documents. And the third one is the machine learning based extractor, wherein an external web service would be used to identify the required fields from the documents. These are the three different types of extractors that are present in the ex extract data step. Once the data has been extracted, the next step is to validate this data. So UiPath also offers you a present validation station that is nothing but the validate extracted data where you get all the fields that need to be extracted and it also highlights from where this particular extraction has been made and depending on the confidence score of the extraction you could choose which extraction to keep and which not not to and if you are not satisfied with any extraction you could also directly indicate on the screen and change the extraction let us see this step more feasibly in the live demo so moving to the next step that is export extract once the data has been extracted and validated, the next step is to export this extract and then for the users in any other application. So now that we understand the complete workflow of how the document has to be processed, let's go to our UiPath Studio and have look at these activities and follow by live demo. This is the UiPath Studio. As we discussed earlier, UiPath document understanding extracts, interprets and process data from PDFs, images, handwritten and other unstructured documents. Let me show you the type of documents that we took in this uh, live demo to extract the data from. This is the certificate of filing document and another one is the receipt type of document and last one is the invoice type of document. Let me show you the taxonomy manager where they will be defining the taxonomy. This is a taxonomy manager organizes documents into groups and categories as we discussed. Let me show you the example taxonomy for invoice. Uh, these are the field values that we are going to be extracted in the invoice uh, document type. Let me close this. And also let me show you the classification of document. Uh, documents are classified based on taxonomy by using keyword or uh, intelligent keyword classifier or ML based classifiers. Here in the classifiers, it, it will be classified based upon the keywords that are present in the particular file based upon the documents are classified from one format to another. Let me close it uh, and let me run the process. Document understanding is processing a certificate of filing type of document. It would be undergoing some internal uh, scenarios like loading of the tags on me, digitizing the doc, digitizing the document and all. Now the present validation station has been opened. This is the present validation station as I discussed where we can validate the extracted data. Validation station provides an interface for users to validate data points and are extracted with lower confidence. As you can see in the certificate of filing type of document, the file number is not extracted. So you can make it uh, corrected in this present validation station by clicking over here. Uh, the data which is not extracted can be make it corrected. Now the document understanding is processing the invoice type of document. Now the same for generic flow steps will be undergoing for this document also. Now the document understanding is processing the receipt type of document and similar steps like digitizing and loading the taxonomy and extracting the data from it and everything will be done in the background. So now the present validation station has been opened because that the receipt document what the data has extracted 
may have some lesser contents. You can see this is a present validation station uh, for the receipt. Users can use validation station to correct low confidence data in this receipt. Uh, as you can see in the total, we are missing with the one number so we can make it corrected over in the present validation station and also the tabular data can be checked over here by correcting it but it's nothing but validating it in this way the process has been executed let me show you the output file for one of the document for the first certificate of filing you can see that file number is not extracted for the first time but in the present validation station we have uh, corrected it or validated the document whether all the data that we need are extracted or not so that the file number is also been uh, extracted after the validating. So in this way, we will be making use of this uh, document understanding. Thank you. Thank you for watching The Automation Zone, a video series brought to you by Miracle's RPA Command Center. For more about automation, please visit miraclesoft.com slash RPA.